This was my very first park game, and as you see, it went extremely well. I shot the ball amazing, made every shot, greened everything. Now, we lost barely in spite of me shooting very poor, but how did I respond? Did I A. Cry on Twitter to Mike Wang to buff the shooting, B. Uninstall NBA 2K21 because I am now trash and the game patched me. Or C, did I just go, hey, I just need to get better, learn how to play the game, and learn to practice my shot and get better at shooting and mostly get better at the game. I chose C and it got me a 91.2 win percent with a 59 three-point field goal percentage and a 41.3 three-point percentage. And four of my losses were from lagouts. So just know that my record could be better, but, you know, unfortunate things happen. But the point is, my record is pretty damn good, and my percentages are definitely better than the average player. And I'm going to tell you why shooting should not get buffed, and how you can become a better shooter. But first, I am a big fan of Amazon Prime Video's hit show, The Boys. And for those that don't know, they have a season two, and it came out the same day as NBA 2K21. 2K, y'all are wrong for that. And you dropped a double rap weekend so there was no way for me to even watch an episode except for when it seemed like you guys had a broken park and I actually got to watch one episode and then I get a text, hey, the parks are working. We figure out how to get into a working park. So I am yet to even get through these three episodes that are on Prime Video. So no spoilers or you are blocked. I'm just saying that I haven't really had time to watch the boys because my grind has been real. I hit All Star 2 and my life has revolved around 2K, YouTube, and Twitch, my holy trinity. Speaking of which, if you're not subscribed, I'm on the road to 6K. So hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload, and link down below for my Twitch. Make sure you hit me with a follow. This All Star 2 stream, guess what? That stream was seven and a half hours. So when I do stream, I stream for a long time and I stream often. I might even be streaming right now. So check it out after this video. Make sure you hit me with that follow. But Quill wrote a tweet talking about the people saying that 2K21 was their year and they already quit. And I said, oh word? Because I've been consistent with the uploads this month and since 2K21 has come out and with the streams as well. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. I got to prove Quill wrong. 2K21 is indeed my year. And you know what? Even if it's not, I am damn well going to make a reasonable effort to make it my year. I talked way too much. A lot of you probably left. And a lot of you are probably talking about video starts at insert timestamp and my bad. Let's get into what this video is about and that is the shooting. Alright Lock em Up Nation, for those that strictly watch me on YouTube, this is your first time seeing me play Park. By the way, this gameplay is from my stream, so make sure you follow my Twitch because people that follow me on Twitch, they actually got to see me play Park in 2K21. But most YouTubers would show their best gameplay, shooting 5 for 5, 7 for 7 from 3, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you all gameplay where I miss some shots, but I do shoot relatively well. But I don't trip when I miss. I don't go, this game is trash. I don't complain about me being bad at shooting and mistiming the shot. You're going to see on this possession right here, we're actually moving the ball pretty well and I'm gonna end up with a good look off the catch but I missed time the shot and I brick but I do not trip we get up a transition dunk we're down 4-2 early but watch how I respond you know get my speed boost on behind the back and I have enough time to set my feet and green for the cashola 
baby. Speaking of Cashola Baby, I got my Cashola Baby emo approved on Twitch. So make sure you follow me on Twitch and even subscribe so you can get access to that awesome emo. But the thing with shooting is, I think of anything, it could use a little nerf. Maybe not the mechanics with the green window and stuff. The green window is fine. But the amount of whites that go in are absurd. And you see me make a white right there. I make a lot of whites, especially close shots, baseline. That is your best friend. If you're struggling to make shots and you're on a shocker, any, basically any shooting build with 80 something, 90 something shooting, just do fades. Put on difficult shots and you see that BS bump steal. But do fading shots from close range. They go in so much. Now, close range shots, a lot of people say they need, they need to be nerfed, but. I don't think they need to be nerfed to the point where the green window should be closed. It should be easy to green those shots. Close shots are very easy, especially if you have a high close shot rating. But the whites on close shots, and this is from someone that abuses close shots, they absolutely need to be nerfed along with fades because it's making shooting too easy because you can just white shots like this and make them. But I do miss that one. But guess what? I didn't trip. Because I know I'm going to get that Steve like I did just there. And you know, we play good defense. We're going to end up winning the game anyway. I mean, if you have good defense, you're just going to win regardless of your shooting. I mean, I do have that. Not everyone has the luxury of being a very good defender. So maybe that's a reason why I ain't tripping about these misses. But another thing is, I know these are shots I'm going to make. And you see me brick another one. That one, I should have greened. That one, I remember. That one, I kind of got right. I feel like I timed that one pretty good. But I didn't trip, you know? Because I know we're playing good defense. We know these guys can't shoot themselves. Another way for you guys to get better is ball movement. I know it kind of sucks because I myself like the ISO. But, you know, most people are making inside center. So, you know, I got to use screens. And not only that. Catch and shoot shots are way easier to green. So by moving the ball, you might get a catch and shoot shot. And like I said, they are a lot easier to green. So look for catch and shoot opportunities and perhaps even put the catch and shoot badge on. And that's another thing you guys got on the game with no badges. And as a 60 overall and expected to shoot the lights out, what world do you live in? You need to get your badges. And I do have a shooting badge method video. I actually dropped it yesterday. So make sure you check that out. I'll even tell you the best shooting badges to put on. Range Extender. Hot Zone Hunter. Hot Zone Hunter is the best badge in the game. Once you get Hot Zones, that's how these whites are dropping. When you shoot whites in your Hot Zones, it is incredibly overpowered. Deadeye. Difficult Shots. Green Machine. I'll tell you an underrated badge that's very overpowered. Hot Start. Once you make your first shot, it can even be a layup. That really helps your white drop. I played someone who had Hall of Fame Green Machine. He was greening shots, you know, off those big body screens. And then he made some whites after that. And that's because Hot Start kicked in. So Hot Start's another one. Another great badge is Hall of Fame Volume Shooter. You get a boost to your shot the whole game because you're shooting shots and it helps you make whites. G Size uses it on Hall of Fame and G Size makes more whites than anyone I've seen in 2K21. So if G Size is using it, chances are you should be using it too because G Size, as we all know, is one of the top guards. But all in all, I recommend you find a jump shot that works for you and you just shoot around and get better. I've been shooting around in the Pro AM and you can change the difficulty to Hall of Fame. I put it on Hall of Fame because you know if I can consistently green shots on Hall of Fame then I should be able to go to the park and green no problem because park is not on Hall of Fame even though it might seem like it to a lot of people. And <laughs> you see that air bar right there. That's the risk of shot aiming by the way people. But I see people are godly with that you know the right stick aiming that needs to be nerfed to hell because i just saw a guy 
hours ago beat Ty Sino with five straight whites using the shot aim. It was just painful to watch, especially since I know Ty Sino is a lot more skilled than that guy that beat him with all those whites. So, I think 2K needs to nerf whites. I don't know if they will because they don't want to piss off the casuals even more than they already have. But do not make it easier to green because then these, damn, another air ball. These lockdowns, these insights, they are going to be able to green shots and that will lower the skill gap and just lower the point of making shooting builds. Speaking of which, play shot was actually a rare breed. You know, in 2K20, everyone was a two-way slashing playmaker. But you can shots became rare and they were considered a skilled build. Maybe not if you use screens, but icing with a play shot takes a lot more skill than a slasher because we don't get as much finishing. In 2K20 and even 2K19, I was a god at isoing with a playmaking shot creator. Just funny how the play shots get clowned now, but in 2K20, a lot of people stuck with their play shots when everyone else was making two-way slashing playmakers. Like, hello? And to be a playmaking shot creator and absolutely box up a two-way slashing playmaker getting at most nine defensive badges, that takes skill in of itself. I mean, I made a play shot knowing damn well slashers were getting nerfed and paint defense was getting a buff. And I knew that screens would be a big meta and that's why my cousin exo made a paint piece and that is why i made a play shot because those were just the safe builds to make we knew outside centers you know people were going to struggle in the beginning of the year to shoot so play shot gets a high jump shot rating and center inside center you know they'll grab your rebounds and set mean screens also, another thing I wanted to point out is it seems like the threshold for making every white, especially without the shot meter, which, oh my god, that needs a nerf too. You need to have a 90 plus 3 ball rating to make every white. I feel like if you have below a 93 or 90 mid, you have to green every shot just about. That's how it seems to me. Sharp shooters, sharp facilitators, they make every damn white. That's all I lose to thus far. And you saw my win percent. Alright, so this video is kind of long and I apologize and I kind of repeat myself, but you guys get my point. I definitely think whites need a drastic nerf, especially the white close shots and with the aiming thing. It is just annoying to lose to because, you know, shooting is supposed to have a skill gap. Greening shots actually take skill. The green window is actually very small, even for high shooting builds. And I like that shooting should be difficult so all i ask is 2k please nerf whites and 2k community everyone watching this video find a jump shot you're comfortable with and practice it i will reveal my jump shot i know i'm not the best shooter but i definitely feel like i'm shooting better than the average player you know there's a lot of people that are shooting 30 20 even 10 percent i've seen five percent so the fact that I shoot above 40% and I will be in the 50s and even the 60s eventually because I am getting better and better at shooting. I am very passionate about getting good at shooting because shooting, at least greening, has a skill gap. And I definitely want to be one of the better shooters in the game. And I want to make it known that I am a really good player. No, I was a top player in 2K16, but a lot of you are new to the community and a lot of people don't seem to remember how good I am. So it's time that I wake everybody the hell up. I'm actually releasing my jump shot soon. And like I said, I have a shooting badge method. If you don't have your shooting badges, you can get your shooting badges easily. Another easy way to shoot is off quick stopping. And I will release a video on quick stopping. And I will give you a sneak peek of my shot. I'm not going to tell you the jump shot. But I will tell you. The fade I use is Steph Curry. You know moving shots is your best friend. You don't even really need a regular jump shot. Just fade for mid and close shots. And you will win as long as you play good defense. But I hope I got through to some of you. That want shooting buffed. Just practice your shot man. We want a skill gap 2k man. 
We don't want to be great players losing to bums. I am yet to lose to bums. Every team I lost to, they were all solid teams. So, please 2K, keep the skill gap. But I hope you guys enjoyed this long video. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on post bell notifications if you're new. And make sure you follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. But here's some videos on the end screen. Click one of those. And I will see you there. Or I will see you on the next one. But till next time. I am out. Peace.